It's Michael Tiny Saul. It is Monday, May 9th at 7.40 p.m. And this is Forex Trading Analysis for Tuesday, May 10th, 2011. So I'm still in wait and see mode on a lot of these pairs and crosses. Let's go through this mini list. There's one cross that I'm looking at that uh, I really like. So we'll take a look at that when we get to it. Here's the Euro formed a doji okay digestion day after the big move down i was expecting uh something like this a digestion day consolidation day i would have liked it if it was an inside candle but the fact that it poked out the bottom of friday's candle isn't that big of a deal but you could see if you were aggressive long you got trapped if you were aggressive short you got trapped unless you were uh, using the short-term time frames to scalp so that's what usually happens after range expansion they try to bring it both ways and can't get a commitment so I'm still waiting on the euro here I have to give it another session at a minimum the Aussie dollar looks like it's on a bounce let's throw up the Fibonacci lines here and you could see that it's at 62% uh, retracement is at um, 08.27 and then above that, you have the 78.6. I got an email. I, I don't use the last, the fractional pip number, usually. I just get that from uh, trading the uh, currency futures. I, I tend not to look at the fractional pip. So I just round them one way or the other. So that's resistance up here. Okay, 08.27 and then uh, uh, 09.06 on the uh, Aussie dollar. Here's the yen. Okay, the yen's still kind of mucking around here. Uh, by these lows and the 62% retracement here we can grab some trend lines and do something like this and, I mean I guess kind of form fitting based on how we're trading already in Tuesday session but uh, if I were to use this line up here it's not a real good triangle because there's not a lot of swings here you know, there's just uh, still wait and see mode here but to me I, I think the yen has more downside in it here the dollar yen I, I think there's a chance that it retests these lows but there, there's no trigger here just yet here's the Swiss franc and you could see it came just shy of the moving average the middle line of the Keltner nothing there here is the euro pound cross so let's see we had a doji there on Monday wait and see mode here see what sets up here Here's the pound, okay, I, I don't see a pattern here. Here's the pound kiwi cross, okay, this this is not valid. This was the trade we took already. Uh, but you can see here, it may try to set up something here and go from there, but uh, right now it's not in a pattern, so wait and see on that. Here is the Swiss yen, nothing looks like it may want to retrace back to the moving average. Here's the pound Swiss, okay, the pound Swiss not doing much here either uh, looks like the the moving average it looks like that's the resistance on the upside okay here's the loony swiss yeah, nothing there here's the aussie loony looks like it may want to retest the highs but what does it do up there does it double top or does it keep going Okay, finally, here's the New Zealand versus the Canadian dollar. And I like this pattern here. The problem is I have to give it one more session because this formation is only valid once this candle is done. And I mean, it's 7.45 on Monday night, so we're trading in Tuesday's session already. Uh, and that's not enough time to, to bracket this. So there'll be no triggers on this one, but if it manages to stay inside here, we'll be watching this 
for Wednesday's trade. So the Forex video will be done for Wednesday kind of early, uh, probably Tuesday by uh, 5 30, 6 o'clock. So uh, check back on that tomorrow. Anyway, have a great trading day on Tuesday. Don't forget to check the 9 a.m. update at the blog in case anything has changed. There's no real triggers here, but in case something sets up, I will throw it up on the 9 a.m. update on the blog. So just go there. It's uh, totally free, and um, you will see if there are any changes in the morning. That's it. Have a great trading day on Tuesday.